What's up everyone, Sam and Sauce, and I'm going to be showing you guys the best small forward build in 2K23 next gen. This build is going to be a very all-around build, could do a little bit of everything, but uh, the primary thing about this build is going to be its shooting ability. So these are the body settings you want for the small forward. You want to be 6'7". I feel like that's the perfect in-between height. You're still going to be decently fast. Although we did give up a lot of speed to get more badges on this build. But you're going to be really good at handling the ball. And you're going to be really good at shooting. And also you're going to be really good at dunking. That's really the main thing that this build is good for. And defense is pretty solid too. You want to go 220. And you want to have a 7 foot wingspan. That's going to help you get a lot of blocks and a lot of dunks. So these are how you want to set up the attributes. I don't want to get too, too in-depth, but there are a lot of levels that you need some of the attributes to be to get certain animations or certain badges. So that's why I put some of them at very precise levels, such as the driving dunk at a 92. That's what you need to get elite contact dunks, as well as that 82 vertical you see down in the physicals. You end up with 17 finishing badges, which I think is really good. You could also give up one of your finishing badges if you want to upgrade your driving dunk to a 93 so you could get gold posterizer. But I decided to go with the extra badge point. If you want, what you could do is lower your driving layup to an 81 and raise your driving dunk to a 93. You lose a finishing badge, but you do unlock gold posterizer as you could see. So if you want to be even better at dunking, you could do that. Or if you want more finishing badges, you can go with the driving layup at 84. The build system is very complicated. So you also want to make sure you have enough badge points in order to get some of the tier three badges you want. Because you're going to need 17 badge points in order to get gold posterizer, but you also get four extra badge points when you become a starter. So you could sacrifice that finishing badge, get gold posterizer, and then use those four badge points in order to get one of the tier 3 badges that you want. But anyway, going on to shooting, the 3 point shot is one of the best parts of this build. You get 23 shooting badges, it could be more, it could be better than that, but with a 93 point shot, my personal uh, idea for this is that you put maybe 3 or 4 of those 4 extra badge points into shooting, that way you get a lot more shooting badges. Even though I do like having a mid-range shot, I don't think you necessarily need one on this build because you're so good at dunking and because you're so good at shooting threes. Free throw, you're going to be getting fouled a lot, so you want to at least have something in the mid-70s. Pass accuracy, pass accuracy is very important this year. You want to make sure you're not turning the ball over too much because interceptor is a crazy badge. Everyone's intercepting passes. Ball handle at an 89. The reason for that is you get a Hall of Fame quick first step at 89 ball handle. Speed with ball 73. I would have liked this to be higher, but again, we want to make sure that we're really good at driving and we're really good at shooting. Then defense, 70 interior, 80 perimeter. That's pretty well balanced. And then you get a 70 defensive rebound, which is solid. And then physicals, very well balanced. Again, the most important level is vertical at 82. So you could get those nice dunk animations. And then stamina, I really don't like going below a 90. You could maybe, if you really want to upgrade something, maybe you could lower it by one or two points. But I really try to avoid going less than 90 for the stamina. But that's how you want to set up the attributes and the badge points. And then finally, this is how I have the takeovers set up. You could really do almost anything you want with the takeovers because this is a very versatile build, especially with the slashing and the lockdown takeovers. But I think having double spot up precision is very helpful on this build. With a 93 point shot, you're going to be able to shoot it at an insane level with a double spot up precision. But that's pretty much it for the small forward build. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And also, if you guys haven't seen the video, I'm doing a $1,000 giveaway because I'm thankful that you guys helped me reach 1,000 subscribers. So make sure you guys also check that video out. You gotta enter before October 28th, 2022, just in case you're watching this video next year. So also make sure you do that, but most importantly, make sure that you have a splendid day.